Today I am here with a very amazing instrument. I am sitting in front of a very old Mason and Hamlin pump organ. Now you might be familiar with the Mason and Hamlin name as they make pianos, and in fact today they still make pianos in Haverhill, Massachusetts. But before Mason and Hamlin made pianos, they made pump organs, and they made very good ones as well. It has all kinds of awards all over it, stating the different years and different countries that they won awards in. And it kind of is obvious that they made really good uh, instruments because it still works to this day. Many of the stops still work. Um, almost all of the notes work, and it's just such, and it's in great condition as well as you can see, the case is almost perfect, there's a few little nicks here and there, but for an 1880s era instrument, it is in amazing, amazing condition. Usually you find old pump organs like this and they just don't work. This one actually does and it's really, really cool. Now what's also cool about this instrument is it's actually for sale and I'll put the link to the Craigslist ad down in the, uh, in the description of the video. The price on this instrument is very reasonable and if you were interested in having such an instrument, this would be a really great one to have because as I said, it works and it is totally playable. So I'm going to first show you some close-ups of the logos, the stops, and also these knee levers as well. And um, then after that I will play the instrument for you and get, give you an idea of what it sounds like. So this is the other knee lever that says patented. I think it says Hall Organ. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what that first letter is. It's very fancy. But I think it says Hall Organ and then underneath there is a date. This is January 20th, 1874, which gives us an approximate date for this organ. And uh, that could just be a patent date, and this organ might have been made later than that, but it is definitely, definitely a very old organ, and it is very, very cool. So what's interesting about this organ is it's actually made by Mason and Hamlin, and as you can see, there's their logo right there above the keyboard and above the stops as well. Now to the left and the right of the Mason and Hamlin badge are these really fancy decals over here with all of this um, Latin script. It says here, awarded by United States Centennial Commission, Philadelphia 1876, Sweden 1878, Paris 1878, all these awards that Mason and Hamlin had won for their excellent instruments over here as well, Milan 18. 1881, uh, Vienna 1873, and Paris 1867. So considering there's a date of 1881, this organ is probably made after 1881. That would be my guess. And then let's take a look at the stops as well. We have a Clarabella stop, a Melodia stop, a, vo uh, I assume, Celesta voice, that's what that means, I'm not sure how you pronounce that first word, uh, oboe, cla clar clarionet? Clavionet? I think it says clavionet. Tremulant, which is one of my personal favorites on this organ, it sounds amazing. The viola, uh, viola dulce, uh, diapason, and dulciana. So let me know in the uh, comment section what all of these stops do. Obviously the tremulant gives it a really cool tremulo effect. I assume oboe sounds like an oboe and viola sounds like a violo, uh, viola, but maybe you can tell me what viola dulce does. That probably means like a sweeter, more mellow viola. Uh, and then just let me know what all those do. It's really cool. And then there's the, uh, the keyboard as a whole. And that's what it looks like when you sit down at the instrument. Really awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure I can make that. That one works. I'm not sure that one does. That one does. Very subtle. That one feels like it's just disconnected. We know this one works and it sounds awesome. It's a little touchy, but it works. That, that is so cool. I don't know how that works. I'm not, I'm not sure what the internal mechanism is that makes that go. It's a little touchy. what the internal mechanism there for that is, but it sounds really amazing. That one works. Again, that one just feels like it's disconnected. Hard to say, that one just might be really subtle. Um, that one might be 
extremely subtle as well. But most of them seem like they work, which is really amazing for considering how old this instrument is. From 1860? That's incredible. It's just so cool. And I love the sound of the low end on it too. So earlier in the video I said that some of the stops didn't seem to be working and actually I take that back because I think I was actually using the organ wrong. So from what I've been able to tell, the stops on this side of I think the tremolant um, stop are for the bass side and the stops on this side are for the treble. And so if I, I would think I was playing a note that was too low and that's why I wasn't hearing a difference in some of these. So if I play a note down here and I pull the dulciana out, that, the dulciana seems to be like the bass, the really low bass notes. If I push that in it stops going. The diapason, you can kind of hear a difference there. That one works. This one works. Again, see, this one is kind of like a middle range because it doesn't have notes that work down here. So if you're, well, maybe some of them do. And then the viola, that one works as well. We know the tremolin works. My favorite one. The clavionet, I think, is more on the treble side. That one works. The oboe, that works. The, uh, again, the V-O-I-X Celeste, I think that means Celeste voice. That one works. Uh, Celesta means heavenly in French, so that probably means like heavenly voice. Melodia works. Now the Claret Bella one, I didn't hear a difference earlier, but it does seem to work. So that means that every single stop on this organ actually in fact works, which is really incredible, because usually when you find an organ of this age, half the stops don't work, or you're lucky if one of them works, but on this organ, every single stop works, which I find is absolutely amazing, and uh, it's just, it's an instrument that's in such good condition. It really amazes me how good of a condition it is, and how playable the instrument truly is. It's amazing. So now I'm going to demonstrate this organ by playing the Davy Jones theme from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. It's a really cool theme, and it works really great on pump organ, so I hope you enjoy it. It has such a really cool sound. I love the low bass end of the organ. It just sounds really awesome. And uh, the, the knee lever swell is a really nice addition as well because as you heard, the first part of that song was quieter and then I, I opened up the, the uh, little baffles inside that make the sound come out more and then the organ got louder. It's a really nice touch and it adds a lot more expression to the organ. Such a cool piece of uh, musical equipment. It's really amazing. Like I said, once again, this instrument is for sale. The Craigslist ad will be in the description, and you can go check that out for yourself if you want, and if you're interested in such an instrument. I have lots of videos on my channel about organs. I have a couple on there of pump organs, none of them that work as well as this one, though. This is an unusually excellent specimen uh, for an instrument like this. I've also got videos on pianos on there as well, as well as electric and digital organs. So if you want to go check all that stuff out, you can. And if you want to think about subscribing, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.